Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a midweek vlog. I actually did an Instagram poll earlier this week asking if people prefer to watch vlogs or sit down videos if you had to choose. And something like 65 or 68% of people said vlogs, which made my heart so happy because I have really loved filming vlogs lately, editing vlogs lately. They're just a lot of fun. So I think some weeks I'll be doing two vlogs, two sit down videos, and other weeks I'll stick to one vlog, three sit down videos, just depending on what I have going on in my life and in terms of sponsors and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited for today's vlog. I'm filming this on a Wednesday. I have a lot to update you guys on. I'm going to be taking you along with me to a couple doctor's appointments as well as give you some updates on some health things. That'll be fun. <laughs> and then something a little more lighthearted. I want to do a little fashion show, a little try on with you guys putting some looks together of some things that I recently got. And I also have my outdoor tap class tonight. So I'm going to bring you along to that. Can't wait. Thank Thank you for being here and clicking on this video and without further ado let's get into this week's vlog so as you guys probably know by now if you've watched any of my videos i've gotten to the point to where probably 90% of my wardrobe is from Everlane. No shame in the fact that I love their clothes. This is Everlane. I wear them almost every day. And I am so excited because last week I got an email from them asking if they could sponsor a segment in this vlog. And I think this is probably my fourth or fifth time working with Everlane. My first time doing just a little segment. And every time I get an email from them, I really feel like I'm being proposed to by Brooke all over again. You know, lesser because that was important, but it's like the true love of your life asking you to do something with them, you know? It feels so good. So since I have so many pieces from them already, I thought it'd be really fun. I don't really get an opportunity to like put outfits together anymore since I don't really go that many places, but to literally just like make different outfits with you guys with what I already have. And then I will link as much of it as possible down below, whatever is still in stock and still being sold. I'll link in the description box for y'all. What do you say? Does that sound like fun? Because I have been looking forward to it all week. I literally wanted to start the vlog early today just because I can't wait to do this and I can't wait to have on real clothes for the first time in a while. Let's do it! Okay, first this is the kind of thing that I do wear every day because it's just so cute and flattering and comfy. This is just their organic cotton t-shirt. This color is sesame and I love it so much. It's very warm and happy. And these are the way high jeans. These jeans are so flattering because the rise is so high. It comes like above your belly button. And so I have these in two colors and I actually ordered them in one more color. And then to dress it up, I have the modern loafer. This is the 2.0 modern loafer, which actually at the time of filming still aren't out yet, but I think that they will be out by the time this video comes out. And then to mimic the black with black, I just threw on my own personal black belt, <laughs> black belt, not karate, and a little hair clip to make it feel a little more sophisticated. In my opinion, an outfit like this is very casual, comfy, and like sophisticated, elevated, professional all at the same time. Like you could totally wear this to an office every day. That's what it looks like from the back. It is so cute and comfy. I love these jeans so much. My favorite jeans are the curvy cheeky straight jean, the arc pant, and the way high pant, the way high jean. My favorite. So cute. Okay, these are the beloved famous curvy cheeky straight jean in light wash denim. I know I've talked about these so many times, but I have larger, wider hips than my waist ratio typically allows for for normal pants. And these pants are the most flattering on my bigger hip, bigger butt <laughs> ladies because they're made for curves. And I kid you not, these are the only pants that I can wear without a belt. And it's so freeing. I have them in four colors. I've had so many of my friends who are more pear shaped or more hourglass shaped say that these are life changing. Like these are so flattering on me. These really hold in my hips and fit my waist so well. And I love the way it looks with this silky, blouse. A nice dark blouse with a light wash I think is really really pretty. I also have these in like a gray wash and I have this exact same blouse in a light blue so it's almost these colors reversed and I wear that all the time as well. And then these are some heels from Everlane. They are sold out I believe but they have some similar sandals that are almost sold out that are the exact same leather. I put in my unpainted toenails but looks like this. I'll link them but they're probably sold out by the time you see this. But isn't this just everything I'm striving to be yet again? Sophisticated timeless, elegant, chic, my heart. <laughs> these are my third favorite pant that I mentioned. These are the Arc Jean and these are very relaxed. I think that they're typically supposed to fit almost 
kind of like balloon pants. They're supposed to arc out. So on, you know, less hip people, hippie people. I think that this is supposed to be a little more loosely fitting, but I think it looks really good on my body shape as well because you do get the tightness in the butt, which I think is really, really flattering. But then after that point, it's really relaxed around the rest of the leg. So it has that kind of like modern, edgy, relaxed feel. These are also pretty dang high-waisted. These come right to my belly button. People ask me about sizing all the time. Just for reference, I'm five foot seven and these pants are a size 25 and all of my tops I always get in size small whenever it's in stock. So pants are 25, tops are small. This is the cashmere polo. I'm not kidding, I have this in three colors. Let me show you. I have it in these two colors as well. These are the exact same shirt in two more colors. This one is heathered oat, and then this one's like a camel tan, and then a more burnt orange color. It's it's pricey. It's definitely a splurge item, but it's just so cute. And then these are the Boss Boot in Re-Knit, and I love these. They're very similar to the Glove Boot, but they have a pointy toe. They truly just feel like you're wearing socks. I think that the Arc jeans look really good tucked in with something a little more loose like this polo or something really form-fitted. Like a lot of the time I will wear it, it's in the dirty clothes. I'll wear it with the Micro Rib Turtleneck, which is very, very form-fitting and lightweight. This is only 35 or $38. So this one is a great basic staple and it looks so good with the arc jeans as well. But like I said, it's sturdy. This one is one of my recent purchases on my own that I know I showed you in a vlog when I got it and I have been wearing it. So I've worn it in so many videos lately. It's the Japanese go weave square shirt. I believe it's called. This color is cocoa or cacao. And I love that this one is a little bit more long line and relax than the silk one that I showed you earlier. And I love pairing it with, these are the curvy cheeky straight jean in the washed black color. The difference is, if you'll notice, these are ankle. The other length that I wore in the washed denim was regular. And I actually think I wanna order these in regular because I wanted to try an ankle on my height to see how it looked. And I actually like regular best. And these are my favorite pair of jeans. So I wanna reorder these in regular and have them both on hand. I also am wearing the exact same modern loafer in this leathery color. They are so stinking cute and so stinking comfortable. And this is just very easy to throw on. Like, I feel like I'm wearing a pajama shirt, but it looks so put together. You know, feels comfortable, looks posh. Love that. It's kind of, it's kind of like Everlane's theme though. Everything is very easy to throw on together. Everything works well with each other. It's almost like a capsule wardrobe in itself. It's easy and it looks like you really know what you're doing, even if you don't. <laughs> okay, now what I'm gonna actually wear for the rest of the day probably. So Everlane came out with these sets and they are so flattering and so comfortable. I've talked about the fact that I have a small waistband, but I actually am a 32 double D. I have sneaky boobs, I hide them all the time. Um, so it's really hard for me to find sports bras that don't show too much side boob, and these don't at all, and they're like very, so they like really hold everything in, which is really nice. And I love these leggings. These are very lightweight leggings. These are good for lounging, for walking, for running, for, you know, stretching, but they are a lighter material than some leggings, which makes them super comfy. And I've been wearing these sets all the time. They also came out with leggings with pockets, which I've talked about before as well. The matching bra top to this one is in the dirty clothes though, which is why I'm wearing this beautiful green colored one without the pockets. And what I love to do is wear these with a cardigan throughout the day. And so for example, today I need to go to a doctor's appointment where I need to be able to take off my sleeves so they can have access to my arms. So this is perfect. And then I can wear this to tap tonight as well because it's athletic wear, but it's also really cute. So it's perfect. And I'm wearing the Forever sneaker, which these are basically like canvas shoes you could tell these are already very well loved because I wear them all the time. These are 65, so they're pretty reasonably priced for shoes. And they're just great for like casual, everyday, out and about kind of errands. But for future reference, I want y'all to tell me which cardigan you think goes with this look best. This is the textured cardigan. This is one of my top three cardigans, and I'll show you the other two. And I want you to tell me which you think goes with this kind of set the best. Oh, wait a minute, the texture cable cardigan. Okay, that one's a texture cable cardigan. I have every single size left in that one currently. So, okay, I'll link that one down below. But this one is the cloud cable cardigan. I wore this last week with the light color set, which is why the bra's still dirty. This one is a little bit more of a splurge than the last one, but it's so 
soft. It's so soft. I think that I like this with the lighter color and then the light texture cable cardigan with this darker color, but I have one more to get your opinion on. Option three is the oversized alpaca cardigan. This one is obviously much more long line, which I think is super cozy and cute and might kind of work well with this outfit since the outfit is so form fitting and this is like extra oversized and comfy. So out of those three, let me know which ones are your favorite with this, but I'm gonna stay in this. I might put on the white one with this color set today, but I'm gonna stay in this set for everything I have going on today. But thank you so much to Everlane for sponsoring this part of the vlog. Literally, nothing makes me happier and feel more fulfilled than when my job is already telling you about things that I love, and I've obviously been nonstop never shutting up about all of the new pieces that I've gotten from Everlane and how much I love them. And then I get to actually work with the brand. It's like a full circle fulfilling moment and it makes my heart so happy. I will do my due diligence and as many of these things as I can link down below, I will link them down below as well as some more recent actual dedicated haul videos that I've done for Everlane in the recent past. But thank you to Everlane for sponsoring this video. I love you so, so, so much. And what's on tap for me now is I want to redo my nails. We can do them together and maybe take Max out before I kind of update y'all on all of the health stuff and take you to my doctor's appointment with me. So to get a little fresh air today, I have a couple unused blue bottle gift cards and I actually haven't had a blue bottle matcha in maybe, I don't think since last year. I don't think I have since before Christmas. And I was gonna see if Max wanted to go out with me. He doesn't know the words walk or outside or anything like that, but there's one phrase that we ask him whenever we wanna take him out. And now that he's in frame, oh, hi Brooke. Ready? Watch him freak out when I ask him this. Gaga potty? <gasps> Gaga potty? <gasps> you gaga potty? You gaga potty? You gaga potty? You gaga potty? <laughs> okay, let's go. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep because I'm not tired. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside and I kind of feel like Funny story. On the way back home, we were crossing a six lane street, a six lane street. And there were cars parked, three lanes of cars parked, staring, you know, at the crosswalk, waiting for the light to turn green. 10 seconds to go. I have my matcha in one hand, the leash in the other hand, get halfway across the street, and Max squats and poops. <laughs> so I was standing there watching the clock tick down. I pull out the last bag from his leash. I'm like, okay, bud, hurry, hurry, bud, hurry. Come on, come on, hurry. And everybody's sitting in the car staring at me like, <laughs> very embarrassing. But I'm about to redo my nails. I took a break from doing anything on my nails for a while, but I met with two dermatologists that both said my nails were related to everything else going on, not anything I was putting on my nails because it didn't test for any sort of fungal infection, bacterial infection, anything like that. So I still wanted to like give them a break, but my doctors basically were like, no, you can do whatever with them, they're fine. And so I have a few Manny Me's and <laughs> this morning I ordered nine more. I went on a little bit of a shopping spree because I'm just so excited and I've missed them so much. And they've still never sponsored anything I've ever done, but they have upgraded my code to be a better code, which is great. So now it's, I'll have it linked down below, but Mikel loves Manny's for 20% off. It used to be $5 off, but now it's 20% off your whole order, which is great. And I've gotten so many questions about how I do my nails. So I was going to show you really quick. And while I do them, kind of talk you through the health things before my doctor's appointment. So these are two weeks old and they're not lifting at all. They've just grown out quite a bit. And so I've gotten to, uh, I've figured out a method to where they don't come off at all. And I literally just change them when they start 
starting to get noticeably grown out. Do you see that where you can like see the ends? And that's a great thing because I feel like stick on nails um, can come off pretty easily. I'll teach you my tricks. I will say there are a couple patterns from Manny Me that do not stay on well. And maybe it's just me, but the ones that have like the partially clear, partially color kind of like swoops, for some reason those do not stay on well at all. There are a couple of ones that have like clear aspects that work well, but I kind of just stay away from all the ones that have partially clear patterns because I've had like two or three of them not work. So they just feel thicker too. So I don't know if that has anything to do with them. I don't know if they've since fixed it, but that's just my little insider secret after trying so many of these. So I go for the solid prints and then the solid colors. I'm gonna take it off real quick. Okay, I have direct sunlight coming into my room, so I just closed the blinds. So sorry if it's like weird lighting in here now, kind of orange, but I'm gonna do this color. This is just like a solid green. I've never done this color before. My tips. First, this is critical and essential. This basically gets off any debris or dust or remaining sticker or polish or whatever off your nails. And you need to have a clean slate because if there's anything caught under it, it will like bubble up, air will get under it and it will detach. My second tip is I finish with my dominant, I was like, what's it called the hand you use? I finished with my dominant hand thumb last because I use this thumb to peel up every single one. So I go like pinky to thumb on my non-dominant hand and then pinky and I end with this thumb since I use this thumb basically for the application so that I don't mess it up during the first couple hours. What I do is I'll start with the pinky. Here's my fingernail and I will align it. I've aligned the back of the pinky and now I'm just rubbing really hard, making sure this is very, very secured on my fingernail and I kind of press and rub pretty aggressively, you know, 30 seconds. Tip number three, I guess, I don't know what number we're on, is I file downward. You don't wanna file upward or side to side too much because you'll kind of rip it off the nail while it's almost setting in a way. So I will file downward to get this to the correct shape of my nail. I have found when I try to use nail clippers to cut this, it doesn't adhere as much because something about filing downward really helps it stick to the nail and then that's what it looks like and then the most important tip is to not get your fingers wet for like two hours as long as you can manage but don't wash your hands don't do the dishes don't change the laundry from the wet to the dry like don't get your nails wet for a couple of hours and then you will be good and those are all of my tips so every time i follow all those steps prepping my nails starting with my non-dominant hand ending with the thumb filing downwards and not getting wet and then not using any of the ones that have a lot of clear, they work really well. So those are my tips. I get asked all the time. Figured I would just let you know. And while I do my nails, I am going to give you a little health update. Ooh, okay, as soon as I finish this, I need to take my allergy medicine because or else I will, I'm 10 minutes away from being too late to take it for my appointment. But I've had ongoing doctor's appointments, new treatment that I'm starting. So I just kind of wanted to update y'all because I know you've been along for this journey. So I don't know if you can really see because I figured out I started doing pretty aggressively dark self tanner I know it doesn't look that dark in this lighting but over my skin issues and it's way harder to see all the skin issues that have been happening so that's been my new secret way to hide it it's just using a lot of self tanner which I didn't used to use but I talked about in the vlog on Brooke's birthday when we toured that house about how I had a good month but again started to feel really sick can't breathe headaches so tired diarrhea, if I'm being honest, if I'm just gonna, I don't care, I'm gonna share it all. And then this rash came up and I was like, oh, here we go again, because I had started Zolaire, which is supposed to help with chronic urticaria, which is chronic hives and asthma, which is me not being able to breathe. And it actually made my asthma worse, but it had cleared up my skin. So I was like, great. And that costs, thankfully I got it covered through my insurance since I do have asthma, but otherwise would cost me $3,000 a month to get these injections twice a month. So all this came up and I had previously seen a specialist at USC who specializes in dermatology for autoimmune diseases and she told me if my skin ever happened again like this thing ever happened again she wanted to see me in person so I was able to actually see her same week because she had a cancellation which is great I recently got a biopsy from a different dermatologist which two or three stitches I got there she's like I want to do another biopsy and run it through our pathologists and I was like okay great so I actually have footage of going to her office 
She did another punch biopsy. This one took three stitches. I'm actually supposed to hear back this week if they found anything because the last one was pretty inconclusive, but she said that she's able to test for more things at USC. So seeing if it pulls up anything, that would be helpful to know. But in the meantime, she is like, essentially it's mast cell activation syndrome. Like until we find something else, this is classic mast cell activation syndrome, especially since you have EDS likely in your family. The treatment for mast cell activation syndrome is interesting. You basically take a lot of antihistamines. I've been taking a lot of antihistamines, 200 plus milligrams a day. I've been taking an inhaler and inhaled steroids and my Zolaire injections, but one of the only ways to help try to build your body's immunity to your allergic reactions happening all the time, it's basically your body's having an allergic reaction, but a very dramatic one and all the time and it can get worse and worse and worse. I have officially started allergy immunotherapy injections. So I started that last week and with this I am getting three shots a week of those until I get to increase my dose and decrease my frequency. But I go in and get three injections to try to build up my tolerance to all of the random things my body's allergic to because there's so many random things. But today is one of the unfortunate days where I have both my allergy shots and my Zolaire shots. So today I have five injections. So I will be getting three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, at least 14 injections a month. And in fact, I got more injections when I had to give this biopsy. <laughs> so it's been like just so many injections. That's what's going on. I am very, very hopeful that with the allergy shots. I'm gonna keep up the Zolaire for now. And I also have topical treatment. I just picked it up yesterday, a new prescription to help with the skin stuff. So I'm hoping with Zolaire injections, allergen immunotherapy, two different types of antihistamines, inhaled steroids, inhaler, the topical medication. Is that it? I think that's it. Hoping that all that will help me start to feel a little bit better. One thing that's interesting though is that mast cell activation syndrome can be triggered from stress. And I did not have any issues the month that I took off and then kind of like leisurely came back to work, which was interesting. And then as soon as things got really in the swing of things with a lot of sponsors and everything, I got sick again. So who knows how much of it is actually stress. I'm excited to move out of this place because I think not having carpet will be great because one of my biggest triggers is dust mites. I actually have my first therapy session to try to mitigate stress a little bit better next week. Those are my updates. Sorry, I just rambled on forever. Hopefully it's interesting. <laughs> Probably isn't. It's, I've had a lot of people reach out to me that also have mast cell activation syndrome and it's been really nice to know I'm not alone and that I'm not crazy. I'm glad to be learning about it. So but I'm gonna finish my nails and then let's go to the doctor appointment. Just got to my doctor. I have to text them to tell them that I am here, but slight update. I know I just told you I'm starting therapy next week, like counseling but I went to go sign the forms to like lock everything in and there was a clause saying that if you ever cancel or reschedule no matter how much of a heads up you give them like if I'm saying like in three weeks I'm out of town so I'm gonna have to not I'm gonna have to reschedule that week they charge you a hundred dollars a hundred dollar fee and the only time slot they could give me was Friday at 4 p.m. and I was like the likelihood of me having to cancel on a Friday at 4 p.m. is so high so I told them that I just can't do that <laughs> It's crazy how hard it is to find something. Like, it should be easier. Let's go get shots, 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 everybody. I've been running in circles, trying to catch my breath. I've been trying everything I can, but I ain't got nothing left. Staring at the ceiling I've been staying up all night Everything I ever worked for Vanished in the blink of an eye Shut, 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 shut And now it's time for Max's Shut, 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 shut I've been asking every question Cause I haven't got a clue Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to Quickly making some salmon dinner before I go to tap. It's very dark in here, so sorry for the lighting, but we got a package from Amazon delivered to Brooke's name. And can you toss me those? <laughs> Two things were in them. This, which these are cute. They're little like gold hoop earrings. And this, this is a glitter cup that says I'm hungry and has a 3D dinosaur in the top. And we have no idea where this came from. We don't know if it was a mishap. It was from Amazon to our name, to our apartment, which is Brooke, not Brooke Smith. 
Just Brooke. We're very confused about it. We don't know what happened. But let's go to tap class. Thanks so much for watching and coming along with me on a weekday. I'd love to know your thoughts on week vlogs, midweek vlogs, maybe we can call them. Um, but thank you again to Everlane for sponsoring this video. Such a dream come true. Every time I work with them, I just fangirl. And I will have everything that I talked about today linked down below if you want to check them out and shop. But I love y'all with my absolute whole hearts. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in the video very soon. Bye. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honest